Hi everyone, welcome to meal kit number 29 for the week of December 8th through December 12th. Thanks for ordering this week, uh, thanks for letting us cook with you and for you in your homes. Uh, we're very excited, this is an amazing menu, I'm, I'm really pumped. Um, I want to go ahead and get started because there's, there's a few extra steps tonight because the food is really special. So let me jump right into uh, the beef short ribs. So we want to get your pan nice and hot and we're going to throw a little neutral oil in there. You know my favorite if you've done this before, this is a great seed oil. We're going to season up our short ribs really nicely with salt and pepper on both sides. There we go. And get that pan nice and hot. Um, and once uh, the short ribs are seared off and in the oven, you want to preheat your oven, by the way, to 400 degrees. And if you're using a convection oven like me, always take down 25 degrees. So in my case, we're preheated to 375. So once the pan is nice and hot, we're going to throw our short ribs in. I want to do a little shout out tonight because it's Christmas party season and uh, we've got a couple uh, corporate groups that have chosen to use us uh, for their Christmas parties. So a special shout out and uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to the groups from Engels and Volker and uh, the group from Chicken Farmers of Canada. Thanks for ordering and uh, thanks for letting us be part of your special celebration this year. Okay, so pan is nice and hot. We are gonna throw the short ribs in there. About 45 seconds on each side. It's not sizzling quite the way that I had expected, so maybe we're gonna do a little bit more on the first go around. Um, and then we're going to start uh, next on our uh, arancini. So we've got two different arancinis for you this week. Um, one uh, for those people who like fish, we've got a, a smoked trout arancini. And for those vegetarian size, we got the halloumi, smoked halloumi um, arancini. So this is a, a cheese from Cyprus, from uh, Cypress cheese and it's just nice and gooey and squeaky, and it's beautiful inside an arancini. Arancini is uh, basically a, a risotto cake. Um, we've got a little breadcrumb on, on the outside, and it's just glorious when it's all crisp up uh, nice. I'm gonna apologize in advance because we've got a few more pots and pans than we typically do, but I promise it's gonna be all worthwhile. Um, while the short ribs are going on, I'm gonna talk to you about the wines tonight. So the first one, uh, the white with the arancini appetizer, it's pronounced Chiu Chiu, uh, and it's from the Marchese region in Italy. And Connor, our wine director, talks about it like this. Uh, it's a white blend of varieties Trebbiano, Passerina, and Pecorino. Vines are planted in the hilly uh, territories of the uh, Picario province, approximately 300 meters above sea level. This is a youthful, refreshing, and un -oaked wine. It exhibits notes of honeysuckle, lychee, peach, and almond skin, white flowers, and prominent minerality. The weight of this wine makes it suitable for a variety of dishes, including spicy shrimp on and on, but really great with arancini. Its fruity nature, however, means it's also delicate on its own. Certified organic and vegan. There we go. All right, so I think the short ribs got a nice little sear on them. Uh, turn them over. Forty-five seconds on the other side. It goes into the oven, and then we're going to work on the arancini. So, same thing. A little bit of uh, about two tablespoons of grapeseed oil is my favorite. You can use canola oil. Just don't use olive oil because on the high smoking content like this, you're going to want uh, something that can handle the heat. Okay, short rib looking good. So that goes in the oven for 15 minutes. And we're going to pull the next one over. I love cast iron pans, as you've probably figured out by now. Um, so while the arancini is going in there, we want to check out a couple of some demi-glaze. You get two little uh, pans of demi-glaze. Just put it in at a, a modest medium low. And that's just going to bubble away until it's done. The polenta, we're going to go a little higher. So I've got it, uh, the demi-glaze on a number three, and then the polenta is going to be on a number five. So you can break it up because it's going to come sort of in a bit of a block. And the chef recommends, if you like, to add some butter. He's calling for it later in the process because there's lots of cream in here in the polenta already, but you can break it up. 
so that it's nice and as it warms up, it is going to start to melt and you want to stir it along. Okay, this pan is ready to go. So, arancini going in. Super simple. And I realize that you were supposed to season it first. So I'm going to season it here. And don't forget to remind me to season it on the other side when we get there. It's very important. I'm going to get this pan warming up a little bit. That's going to be for our cauliflower and our kale. All right. Um, so while this guy is going on, if you have a cast iron pan, don't burn your hand. Use a rag. Um, we're going to put the salad together that goes with the arancini. So you've got a beautiful salad of radicchio and fennel here. Toss that in. And then next up, we've got our fresh herbs. Now, I see a ton of vinaigrette here, so I'm going to hold off a little bit and maybe not add the whole four ounce ramekin. I'm going to do two or three ounces and give that a stir. And don't forget your pickled shallots. A lot of pickling liquid in there, so I'm going to take a little bit out. And I always test run this on Monday night so that we can make any adjustments on Tuesday morning. And I know my arancini is probably ready. Give it a toss over. That's my cat meowing. Her name is Katu. She's probably wanting me to let her outside, but she's got a cat torch, so she can figure it out. All right, so that guy is going to be ready to go into the oven as well. Now let me just double check on the instructions. So three minutes per side, put the arancini in the oven for five minutes. Okay, so we're going to dice that around, turn that off. This guy is happening. Move that to the gas, because why not? That's going to be great. I always prefer cooking on gas to the other. All right, I'm going to turn this up a little bit. Get the polenta nice and creamy. So again, you always want to stir it in one direction. I'm going to jump ahead and add the butter now because I think it's going to add to the, the creaminess. And again, Chef Rich says always stir it in the same direction because then it doesn't get clumpy. So good to know, something I did not know. All right, got all that going on. Um, so let's look at the instructions. Uh, to plate, put the salad down first, uh, around the side of the plate, followed by the arancini and the dollop of remoulade on top. So, yeah, I think I used the right amount of vinaigrette here. Such a gorgeous, colorful salad. And let me talk to you about Christmas time. In case you're all wondering what to do for Christmas, because you know we are not supposed to be hanging out with our extended families this year, we've got a beautiful menu that's very Christmassy. Uh, gorgeous uh, Cornish game hen with um, sage stuffing and a bouche de Noël. And then you can pick those up on Christmas Eve or have it delivered, which is great. So this is nice and hot now on the polenta. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. There we go. Number five on my induction. Give the demi glaze a little stir. And many of you are wondering, how does he know when it's been five minutes in the oven for the arancini or 15 minutes with the beef? Well, you do 29 meal kits like this, and you get a bit of a sense of where things are at. Okay, so need a spoon then for a remoulade. Don't need these guys anymore. Um, the veg is only going to take five minutes, so we're going to uh, start that once the beef comes out of the oven. Um, but I'm going to talk about the red because I've got a little break. Another great Italian this week. Um, Connor's really turned me on to some incredible Italian wines. So the red is from Tuscany. And uh, it's produced from the Sangiovese grapes. 
uh, home of the prestigious uh, Bindi uh, Serengeti family, located in the municipality of Monteriggio. He's going to have to teach me how to speak Italian. Dating back to the year 1349. Uh, it is a wine dedicated uh, to a man, a great personality and master of the salt customs at the end of the 1400s. After fermentation and steel is left to mature in oak barriques, intense ruby red to the eye, it expresses a fruity bouquet in which, with hints of ripe fruit, cherry and blackberry are evident. Um, I hope you enjoy. Nice fresh acidity, which is very important with uh, the beef short ribs, because when you braise meats, as I've talked to you in the past about, you want some fresh acidity to cut through that. Okay, I think the arancini is probably almost done. Polenta's looking good. Anyways is looking good. This guy is on low. Uh -huh. You know what? No good. It's supposed to be butter, not oil. So we're gonna throw this in here. Uh, okay, so arancini it is. These are a little big. I think we're probably going to go a little bit smaller um, for you guys because they're massive. It's like a main course in and of itself. And that's my cat if you can hear me. Okay, Katu, I'm going to let you out. I can't believe that I'm doing this on camera. Please excuse me, guys. I'm going to let my cat out <laughs> the door because she doesn't want to use the cat door. Maybe she's smelling the beautiful truck. Always clean up your plate, make it look pretty. And that is our smoked trout arancini with a uh, gorgeous salad of radicchio and fennel, fresh herbs, and the spicy remoulade. All right. So beef's coming along soon. We're going to pull it out. But keep stirring your polenta. Ah, uh, yes, and Rich said it put the top on it. That helps for sure. Um, but let's get uh, the cake going in, because the cake takes a few minutes. And tonight we have an apple coffee cake with maple granola that's right on top, bourbon caramel and chantilly. So that's going to go in the oven for four minutes. Just enough time for me to figure out the rest of the steak. Or the short ribs, excuse me. Looking good. I'm going to turn them over. Make sure they get nice and caramelized on the flip side. Ah, of course. I need the spatula. It was sticking a little bit. Oh, it's amazing. I know which one is the one for the camera, though. For sure. And the key here, so that you let them rest, five minutes, and I like it on a little cookie sheet. All right, so while that's resting, let's get the veg going on. So we're packing the kale and the, the cauliflower in the same container. Carefully separate the kale and cauliflower so that you don't get kale like I just did in the first round. We'll pull that out while the cauliflower is baking. Oh, geez, if that's a little bit difficult, we're going to turn it up. And you've got the butter in there, and we're going to add the salt and pepper. That's uh, caramelizing away. We're gonna get ready for dessert. So we've got beautiful chantilly here and a little caramel sauce, which is the greatest texture. It's just a little bit molten. Okay, so, um, wow, I don't know what to do. Everything's in the oven, looking good. Give this a stir. A little more on the polenta. Ah, yes. 
Chef Rich, you were exactly right. The lid helps keep all the moisture in there. So make sure to put it back in there. Anyways, is warm, so we're going to turn it up a little bit. Cauliflower. And now the kale goes in. And we want to just wilt it. Don't forget, season always salt and pepper. And because that's a non stick pan, make sure to get the non stick tongs. Nothing your partner hates more when you mess up the nice non-stick coating on your hand. So a little advanced warning, we're going to have an amazing New Year's Eve menu for you. Um, something really, really special. So obviously we're going, to have, we're going to do two seatings in each of the restaurants, but if you want to celebrate New Year's Eve at home, please think about us. Uh, the menu should be posted in the next couple days. The menu for all of the meal kits right up until Christmas are posted right now. We're going to do something really, really special soon. Okay. That's there. Always keep stirring the polenta. Always in the same direction. So it doesn't clump. Demi Blaze is smelling amazing. And don't forget to season the polenta as well. Stir that right in. I'm going to turn this off. The peel looks like it's... Let's see what Chef Rich does. Um, to plate, first the polenta followed by the cauliflower and kale and then the short rib on top to finish with the demi glaze. But it's been four minutes on the dessert. Voila. All right. So drizzle the caramel. Hopefully in just such a way so you get a nice little spread. Looks super pretty. And a little bit more down here. And then our chantilly. I don't need to take a picture of this right away. Otherwise the chantilly is going to melt on the, on the beautiful dessert. And there we are. Our apple coffee cake with granola and chantilly. So, as per Rich, Chef Rich, polenta is going down first. He suggests in a bowl, and I was supposed to bring home some um, <laughs> coupe bowls from the restaurant today to plate this, but I forgot. So we're going to put it on a nice rim plate. I love polenta. When it's done well, there is nothing better to soak up the nice juices of the short rib that we're going to put on top. So you can put like a little bit of a dollop in the center there. Okay, the short rib coming next. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I messed up. I like how I do this, eh? I've got to put the veg down first. Always read the instructions, Steve. And I always like to spill it out a little bit on the side so you can see everything. And I know that that is going to be the Instagram shot.
using a lot of dishes and a lot of spoons tonight. So I kind of apologize, but I kind of don't because it's going to make it really gorgeous. So demi-glaze right on top and around the plate. Demi-glaze, for those of you who aren't familiar, is a beef marrow reduction. And marrow is what creates blood and it creates life. And it's just it has such beautiful texture to things. And this is why you do special meals from restaurants, because they have, you know, the 36 or 48 hours in order to make a beautiful demi glaze. Oh, yeah. And there is our beef short rib done with the cauliflower and uh, kale with the premium polenta. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being part of this. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great Christmas if I don't. <laughs>